Hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> anyway, a lot going on I want to talk about. First thing I want to say is thanks for being part of our family. It's great to have you guys. Um, I honestly feel like you guys are part of the family and um, it's a good feeling knowing that um, I created this over 25 years ago and it's just seems to be working and so many people are part of the family that's great and uh anyway a couple things uh week off curriculum okay so you're just doing crossfit workouts we're put up on the crossfit um uh facebook and we, you can also go to crossfit.net um but there's just workouts this week because we had belt testing and a ceremony this past week so there are no um curriculum classes this week at all just workouts okay so just go work out and just punch and kick and elbow and knee and just do whatever you want and uh, uh don't worry about curriculum let your mind rest okay but train hard this week um i am going to utah to work with some of the guys there uh, Court, Ramsey, uh, Seiler, Brock Jardine, and some of the other guys. And then um, Mike Gahan is fighting Friday night in Utah. Um, that's going to be really exciting because he's one of our instructors and one of our top fighters up and coming, undefeated, both amateur and now as pro. So it's going to be really exciting. So I'll be in Utah, come back with Court. And Brock, I think. And then we go to Anaheim the following week for the UFC. That'll be exciting. So if you can make that, please do. Um, another thing I want to uh, mention is um, the Pit Fight Gear. Actually, the website is pitfightgear.com. Um, is up and running. And please go there and uh, you can go shopping and pay through PayPal. So you can get all the stuff that we get now, including our new crazy shorts. Uh, we've combined forces with Kaju Kempo Pride, one of the best apparel companies out there for martial arts apparel. And we got some killer shorts, okay? And just all of our stuff is there. So pitfightgear.com, all right? Um, fights last night. Unbelievable. Uh, I think the best one I saw was, uh, well, not the best one, but the most happy I was was Bigfoot coming from behind and knocking out uh, Overeem. I was so happy. I love that guy, and I just love to see that fight. Um, Rashad looked so, he just looked, uh, he didn't look like himself. He looked really just dull. But I, even at his best, I don't think he could beat Little Nog. Um, so I had my money on little nog money means push-ups by the way um, and then uh, the main event um, who's the main event who's the main event was it uh, who's the main event I can't remember who the main event was it wasn't the little nog fight it wasn't uh... yeah yeah Aldo Aldo uh, yeah that went pretty much the way I thought it would. It's really hard to knock out Frankie Edgar, and he has super skill. But I thought uh, Aldo would be just a little bit too sharp and too fast for him, uh, and he was. But uh, Frankie Edgar definitely gave him a little scare there about the fourth round. But I think definitely Aldo won. Uh, Ian McCall came up a little short against uh, Benavides. But he's great, and he'll be back, and I think he'll be a title winner, not just contender. But I think I definitely think Ian McCall will, will win the title. All right, so good fights last night. Um, so that's all I got to say, you guys. Uh, I want you guys to train hard. Be proud to be part of the family. You know that the pit is the best martial arts and fitness gym system, culture out there. So be proud of being part of it. Um, and... Nobody's going to protect you out there. When you're training, you know, when you're working out, when you're working on techniques, when you're hitting the bag, 
Visualize, okay? Because there's nobody's going to protect you out there. Cops aren't there to protect you. They're there to investigate after the fact, okay? Let's not let it be investigating your beating or your murder or whatever, your rape, okay? Make sure that you take care of yourself and protect yourself because you're responsible for you, no one else, okay? Average response time, and I'm not putting down cops. Some of my favorite people are cops, but there's just not enough of them, and they're not out there to protect you. They're out there to investigate, okay, the crimes, okay? Average response time, okay, 20 minutes, okay? It's usually a little longer, but I'll err on the side of being conservative. 20 minute response time, okay? Now, if a guy attacks you with a knife, okay, he'll stab you almost 1,300 times before the cop gets there. 20 minute response time. 1,300 times, okay, you're dead, all right? Gunshot. Even counting for reloading a revolver, not even a high capacity assault rifle. With a revolver, including reloading, Okay? He's going to shoot you over 900 times in that 20 minutes. Okay, You're dead. Okay, Even with a punching, which can hurt too while you're on the ground, Okay, he'll be punching you about 2,500 times before the cop gets there. Okay, Now, what if he has a sledgehammer and he's hitting you on the head Okay, 750 times in 20 minutes? All right? So, I'm just saying, protect yourself because nobody's going to protect you, all right? So, train hard, all right, and visualize why you're training, all right? Get stronger, get faster, get meaner, hit harder, become more skilled, all right? Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys soon.